Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah What is the importance of, of the counterclockwise direction of circumambulating? The counterclockwise direction is the direction of the heavens that the clockwise is a manipulation of time and to give the an importance of time. When you are counterclockwise you are telling yourself that we are of a timeless reality and that my life is not subservient to this clock and to these hands. You know the click click people are living by time. So the importance of, of heavenly reality is counterclockwise and the soul comes out of the body in a counterclockwise motion. So then when we do the sama and training on the sama, you move with your left foot fixed. So you step with the right foot and move with, uh, counterclockwise against the left to imitate the reality of the soul is whirling in that reality to come out of the body. So alhamdulillah everything from the heavens is from the world of life. Everything of dunya is to remind us of time and to make us to live by the time and then people become a servant to the time and they literally sort of everything is based on time. As we progress in our spiritual path we want to look less and less at the clock so that our life is not based on that and we want to move towards a timeless reality. And that was the concept of tafakkur. You can begin the process of tafakkur and as soon as you sit two hours can go by because Allah can make time move fast or slow depending upon if they're moving with their soul or with the body. So it has a tremendous importance and that's why the tawaf and, and all spiritual practices are, are counter to the clock and the dunya desires inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Is it normal to feel like desires or future plans and ambitions have died? Yeah, if you're doing your, your practices then the dunya desires begin to go down. That's why we said that there are the four enemies for insan is their material desire, their hawas and the the sensual pleasures, the nafs, their ego and shaitan, the devil. These four are attacking people. So when they control their eyes and begin to meditate they say the eyes are hungry. So as people are looking at all of this Instagram and, and TikTok and all these mediums and, and things that people are putting out, it's making the eyes to be hungry. As a result their desire is increasing. So the one who meditates often and sit and connect their hearts and visualize the presence of the shaykh and keep themselves to be continuously in the presence of the shaykh then their desires should be dropping because they're asking more for the heavens. So your foot has to be one side on the out onto the heavens and one side still stuck on earth for any of these knowledges to make sense. If your two feet are on the earth, none of this makes any sense. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Can covering our head with a cap, a beanie or other hats that are not a turban or kufi also count as reviving the sunnah to a lesser extent? Sure anything that we do with a, with a good intention and the intention to, to carry the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad and the sunnah of its reality that we're acknowledging that Prophet didn't bring only design but he, and functionality but that when we cover our head we are covering an energy point and giving a respect to Allah's supremacy and protecting ourselves from shaitan coming and eating the energy off the head. So however that's achieved there's a benefit and a blessing in, in keeping that way and keeping the respect of that way. 
And then there's a benefit of you know praying in, in full sunnah and, and with turban when you're at home if you can. Alhamdulillah all of those have more rewards. When you pray with the turban it's 27 times blessings in your salah. So anytime we revive the sunnah and, and pray with the, the sunnah and amama and the siwak and all of these have an immense blessing. Just using of the siwak is an immense reward to revive the sunnah of the siwak and, and using the siwak nifaqi fi qalbi wa shirki khafi. So alhamdulillah all, all of these are immense blessings for the believers. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Should women carry the stick too or is it only for men? Apologies for my ignorance. No problem, Walaykum As Salaam, the questions are always good. They, of course the women can carry the asa. It's a negative, it grounds the, the negativity and they sell the female canes that are thin and, and different heights because the male canes are probably a little bit higher. But alhamdulillah it, it serves the same purpose of the grounding and, and the immense reality of that and the same with the, the covering of the hair. When they cover the hair they have an immense reward from Allah and the immense reward of the negativity of protecting that when we, we have the, the reward of the action and then its reality. That when Allah reward the servant whom trying to keep themselves purified. When Allah give ayatul kareem that, that He loves those whom purify themselves. That ayah is in representation one of its secrets is, is that they're keeping the way of, of purifying, they're keeping the way of energy. Allah loves those whom they purify their energy, keep uh, their energy to be clean and good so that not to be wasting it and throwing it out. So alhamdulillah for all of what Prophet brought us of an immense, immense reality of, of energy and hasad and, and all of these different things that now are gone. We said before many times so many people <coughs> don't even understand what hasad and jealousy is. They came against these things and, and different things but when they have that blue Turkish band and the Turkish evil eye and all these things <coughs> with their false understanding they think it's something that's worshipped or I uh, have no idea what they're believing or understanding. But the immense reality of energy that awliyaullah bring to us why that color blue and why those beads that look like an eyeball, why does it pull your eyes to it? Because they were teaching us, that's what they wanted us to understand that the immense reality of Prophet and the danger of hasad. People have powerful eyes and they can send very negative vision to you. They can be jealous of you, your money, your car, your job, your situation, your condition, your health, your children, everything in your life. Somebody has less of that, they're jealous of what you have. So the concept of the, the rings, the Turkish, the blue turquoise rings, the aqiq rings, the, the bands that have the blue, why? Because the blue draws the eyes of people. So instead of their eye hitting you with hasad, their eye is going to the blue object and many times it may crack, turquoise rings may have cracks in them because too much hasad from people. So someone who feels they have a lot of hasad they should have those things on them. They make the ornament on the neck, they put the, the ornament for their wristbands of the Turkish bands or they have a firuz and turquoise, why? So that to take hasad away, not that this stone had like a power, that's a different secret which a stone does have a power because it has a zikr from Allah But it has just the basic secret of pulling the eyes of people because we understand that the sickness that people have is through their energy and they don't know how to control it. So when we know that people can't control it, we can be proactive and control the situation by sort of arming yourself with these realities, then you're taking a, a stance towards all of this negative energy everyone has, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh If we don't have any questions to ask, is it lack of a strong connection? On the other hand, I'm thirsty for listening only to you. Uh -huh. 
Uh, What's the last part? On the other hand, I am thirsty for listening only to you. Okay. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. No, the questions are, are not uh, encouraged. So you'll see our guys there, they don't ask questions. So this is just the benefit of people coming new to ask questions and to clear out the, some fog in the mind and also has the benefit of, of people to come because we have from people who are just tuning in to people who have years of, of tariqa understanding. So the question and answer is to draw people to get their understanding, to get some information but it's not encouraged to go home and think of ridiculous questions and then just keep emailing ridiculous questions. Why, why is yellow yellow shaykh? Why, why, why are this like this? This is not the, the way because we said in before Surat Al-Kahf described when Sayyidina Khidr was telling Nabi Musa salam, don't ask a question. And that was Allah's adab in dealing that, you know, initial questions if the shaykh gives permission then ask basic questions, they're good, it's encouraging people to get understandings. But as far as the depth of the path and you know why is it like happening like that, there's no questions like that. We don't ask why because it's Allah's will, whatever Allah wills, Allah wills it, inshaAllah. Um, As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Could the negative energy of a person be transferred along with their clothing to a different wearer? Would it be possible to remove any negativity by washing the items before wearing? Yeah, I saw that question I think in an email that came in. So yes, that was a good question because we don't like used items. We're not fans of museums because everything absorbs energy. So when like people are going to a museum and say, oh this was with this oppressor who killed 200,000 people, this picture was in his home and then see this picture he killed another 100,000 people and, and this one he was Dracula the great uncle and he had this furniture, this is his couch. Museums are filled with the, the furniture and pictures of demonic oppressive people. So with whatever <laughs> they were doing all day long their energies were absorbing into all the wood, into all these things because everything is made from energy. So everything picks up the energy, right? Those same people go to the museums, these Wahhabi people, but they don't go to holy relics. And they say the holy relics, they're, they're, they're something against it. See how crazy they are? The crazy the belief is? Because when you understand the energy, the energy is all around it. So imagine then the beautific relic of Mu'i Mubarak of the, the blessed hair of Sayyidina Muhammad which carries the DNA on this earth right now, the DNA of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah blesses every drop of Prophet wherever it is on earth all of it is under the tajalli of Allah Allah makes no distinction, He sends the same tajalli to the hair, to the physical body in Medina, to wherever if they have a, a nail clipping of Prophet the tajalli reaches, if they have the shoes of Sayyidina Muhammad the tajalli reaches, those shaitans will never let people go to. And those are the ones we have to catch, the relics are very holy because all their ibadah is in their religious items. So when Prophet was passing from this dunya, they say that he sweated and the khirka and the jubba of what he sweated in and only Allah come to teach, every drop of sweat was an intercession for creation. So a lot was happening on the clothing and the reality of, of immensely holy souls or even slightly holy souls because their worshipness, all of the light of what they do absorbs into their clothing, to the fiber and to the atoms of that reality. So even you wash the shirt, the atoms of, of the fiber of that carry that blessing and that barakah. And that's why Qur'an describes Sayyidina Yusuf So when they don't understand the religion, they say, where's the dalil? All of Qur'an and Hajj is tabarak. So when Sayyidina Yusuf wanted to take the blindness of his father, he took the shirt from his body which had his sweat. And as the shirt was approaching to his father, his vision was coming back. It didn't even have to touch, it had so much barakah. Just the, the, the fragrance of the shirt was coming, he said, I can smell my son Yusuf and his sight was restored back. 
When the shirt of uh, Prophet Sayyidina Yusuf is imagine then the shirt of Sayyidina Muhammad Muay Mubarak of Prophet the sandal, the ring, everything. So for holy they have immense power, immense lights, many tabarak and then for the unholy immense azab, immense difficulty and that's yeah. So you get a shirt uh, from a thrift shop from an angry person and you go home and you don't know why you're feeling angry all the time, yeah different. But there are stores that have used sporting goods for children that's okay because the kids are mazloom and small that's not a problem. But somebody full grown and all their bad character into these items and into these, these things then you take a risk of if that person was bad having this energy and, and feeling the energy and the shaykhs know this first hand. Because in their seclusions they feel the energy, they feel somebody left something in a room they can feel the energy of what was left and the characteristic of what was left in that energy and that shirt in, in a, just a piece of a hair that's left in their seclusion room that shouldn't have been there. <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah What does it mean when the shaykh says to us, to be patient with our bad character. <clears throat> to be patient with your bad character. You can, it could have a lot of meanings that if you're complaining all the time you want to change, you want to change, you want to change and the shaykh just finally says, be patient for the change has to come from Allah the impatient doesn't change anything. So we get emails all the time, oh, I'm doing all these things, nothing changed and they just put like nasty things in the email, oh, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this guy is, nothing open, no. That doesn't change by, by being aggressive, by being agitated, these things don't change Allah's will, Allah doesn't submit because we are now angry and, and getting frustrated. But it changes with good character, with salawats, with the practices. So to change something from good to bad it's like taking it from iron to gold, it's not an easy process, almost impossible. So it means have patience in your practices, don't come back in two weeks and say, Shaykh I didn't change you, you're not a shaykh. So no you're, you're, you're not gonna go from you know iron to gold because it's not gonna happen like that. So you're gonna do lots of salawats, lots of practices lots of testings and you may still be iron, maybe you become copper, maybe, maybe you go towards silver but yeah it doesn't happen overnight. But the alchemy of awliya, the alchemy of, of, of tariqah is really that because they wanted physical changing of metal into gold and that's not, that's not important. The real alchemy is the changing of people from iron to heavenly and divinely gold. And that's through the taruq and the way and the path and the zikr, the practices, the breathing, the meditation, all of these change the entire being of somebody if they're doing them all. If they're not doing the meditation, not making the connection, they're sitting and having dinner and that's, that's their enjoyment, it's a social thing for them. But you have to make the connection, you have to bring the fires, you have to bring the energy. As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi Can we cut off? Can you hear? Can you hear? Yeah my, my headphone went off, okay. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam We feel the verse, Summa Amanu, Summa Kafuru fits our lives so accurately. What should we do when we're in Summa Kafuru phase in which we are not being consistent? Be patient with your bad character. <laughs> the two were cousins probably, I don't want to the other question and then I've talked about the other question. So this is where the shaykh would come, be patient with your bad character I guess. So, thum amanu thum makafari, one day you believe, one day you disbelieve, we try to leave that. That was in, you go, go to our, the, the website and the levels of the nafs, huh? when we went into the seven levels of the nafs that you want to pull yourself out from that. 
that the nafs amara and the nafs shawarma and the cooking <laughs> up. We want to rise above this, this state of belief and disbelief and to fluctuate so greatly. So it's by the practices, there must be some deficiency in the practice. So is it like a medical clinic? If the shaykhs give this medicine and you go any, many, many more and you take only the pills that you want, most likely the sickness is probably there and it can intensify because if you don't do the practices, the shaitans are coming in force to stop you from, from anything. But when you sit and say, I'm every day I'm going to sit for five minutes and make my connection with the shaykh, you have to pray. So when you go, Salaamu Alaikum, Salaamu Alaikum and put the presence of the shaykh, put some salawats and begin to connect your heart. You don't have to look for anything, just say, I want to connect my heart, say, just me and reflect that light onto my heart. And then I'm going to do my awrad, I'm going to do my zikr, I'm going to do the recitations that they gave for us to recite and it's all on the app and the awrad. Then alhamdulillah that you should be receiving these faizes and these energies to take you out of that state of kafaru with the, you, you know, you come into disbelief and just want to leave the whole thing, inshaAllah. So there's some deficiencies in, in doing the practices and doing them consistent so that shaitan doesn't come in between the crack of the practice and then wedge you into not doing it the next day and then the final next day and before you know it they're too strong inside. So imagine like your house that you either fortify all the windows and you know there's all sorts of demons on the outside or one day you say, let me just open all the windows and let all the demons come in today and then I'll clean them and tomorrow I'll close it again. The one day they come in is the day they're coming in and they're very difficult to get out at that time. So that's, that's the be consistent in the practices so that the shaitans are pushed and pushed and pushed and that you make the connection with the shaykhs and the fires to reach. So these are you know the importance of the, the tariqahs and the importance of the practices. That's why the physical presence of the shaykhs become more and more distant. So that people can do their practices, make their connections and not rely on any physical presence, they have to rely on their spiritual presence. This is an important training in last days because the physicalities will be less and less available. But the spirituality is everywhere and that's the door that Allah wants open is the people to train with their hearts. That you don't have to look for a center to go, you don't need to look for a shaykh here or a shaykh there. The shaykh is here telling you, connect your heart. Visualize Shaykh Nazim, visualize Shaykh Abdul Rufayz of Davastani, visualize what comes to your heart, make your connection. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Do we get signs before we die or pass away from this world? Is this possible? Do we get signs? Like dream? Everybody has signs. Yeah? Now do you get signs that you were good before you passed away from this world? Yeah inshaAllah. We get all sorts of signs in life. Signs and of these dying. are, huh? Of dying. Oh you get signs of dying that you're going to have a dream you're going tomorrow. Yeah I can't say no Allah can send a sign for everyone especially for saints. They, they know that they're going next week and they say goodbye to everybody but this is from Allah's gift and, and grant. We should consider we're all dying tomorrow and live a life as if tomorrow is our last day and then we spend our night in worshipness, make sure we've just said all of our recitations and I say, I pray for you my soul to keep before I go to sleep or how does that prayer go? As I lie myself to sleep I pray for you my soul to keep, if I should die before I wake I pray for you my soul to take. It's the same people have the same prayer in every religion. That, Ya Rabbi I'm going to sleep now, I did everything I, I can, if you're going to take me alhamdulillah, you wake up in the morning, oh I'm still here, <laughs> you gotta go work. So then you work hard every day as if you're going to be living forever. And this was the training from Imam Ali that every night to think that that's the last night, as soon as the day came that's it, you're going to be living forever. So then you work hard every day, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah uh, We have a question about comments. Is it okay to talk and comment with other people or should comments be directed to the content only? Yeah, it should be 
like a classroom that the comments should be only directed to the shaykh that this, this, that, thank you, this, that. But the chatting inside a classroom is not allowed and it, it should be discouraged. That's why our moderators most likely will delete something if people start to chat to each other and it's not a, it's not a place for people to become familiar with each other and, and inappropriate uh, discussions and comments and yeah, it changes the whole atmosphere and it just shows that you're not focusing on the teaching. So that the comments are basically directed towards what the teaching was and if there's a question that wants to be posted and if the questions weren't sort of for the, the group then help me at nurmuhammad.com inshaAllah. Dearest Shaykh, you have taught me something I never imagined I'd ever learn. You have answered every unanswered question. Also we are deeply grateful for the team tirelessly working to spread this whole work. Walaykum as wa rahmatullah You guys ready for zikr inshaAllah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Subhana <laughs> rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.